Shasta, Shasta Johnson of the um, Black, My, Black Lives Matter UK um, from Oxford, uh, who's been highlighted uh, quite a bit on social media um, in recent months, um, is a fraud. I'm exposing her as a fraud. She's an opportunist. So I am now taking the opportunity to expose her. Uh, she uses people for her own gain and advantage. She exploits people. She abuses people. She does not respect her own. She does not respect her own people. And she does not respect people who are from disadvantage, um, deprived backgrounds. She does not respect any, anybody who does not have capital or influence or money. That's what Shasha is about. She's a career opportunist. She's a career prostitute and a pro, uh, uh, an opportunities. She sleep. She's been staying at my house for the past couple of months, um, constantly. I live in East London, and that girl is a prostitute. She sleeps with anything that's got a dick. She sleeps outside her race. Do you hear me? I'm telling you now. She sleeps outside her race. She sleep with anything with a dick. As long as she can gain something from them, some some kind of capital or advantage, she talks to people like shit. She's she suffers from serious mental disorder. I know she told me she was diagnosed with bipolar, but her behaviour uh, is so extreme. This woman needs hospitalising. She needs sectioning. Uh, under the Mental Health Act, two weeks ago, I saved her from committing suicide in Oxford at her restaurant. She was locked in the toilet. She locked herself in the toilet. She wanted to commit suicide. She also took a knife out on that same evening and threatened to kill and stab the chef, a Jamaican, a black Jamaican man who, who has, her, has dedicated his time and resources into helping her succeed in her, her business, her restaurant a Jamaican restaurant in Oxford, and he has not been paid a wage. He's totally unpaid. All the staff have been unpaid since the day the restaurant opened. Nobody has been paid, uh, including a 19-year-old student who also is diagnosed with mental illness. She told me I was there. I witnessed everything. Who is the slave master? We're talking about slavery. Everything Sasha says is a contradictory. What is modern-day slavery? If that is not modern day slavery, I don't know what is. You've got people working for you and you refuse to pay them. They've been working for you for months and months and they've got no means to pay their rent, their bills, nothing. You do not uh, uh, pay them no wage. Yet she uses the money to go to Victoria's Secrets in Stratford, Westfield, near my house. She's been there. She took money and she bought herself all kind of sexy underwear to sleep with all these men.